apartment. Everybody's asking about it, including my parents. So I'll let you guys take a look. Um, start here at the door. It's actually not too small. I don't hit my head on it, so that's cool. Got some coat hangers because, of course, there's winter here and the power switches are right there. Very convenient, so you don't have to go outside and look for it. Um, here's very common in Japan, a shoe box. So you just kind of put your shoes in there. Since I'm an American and I'm lazy, I just throw it on the floor and my shoes don't really fit in there. So, <clears throat> yep. And uh, <clears throat> in Japan, you never, you always take off your shoes when you enter um, restaurants, the gym, any person's house, whatever. So you take those off and usually put on some kind of slippers or something. But uh, if you know me, you put on my Freudian slippers and that's what's up right there. Uh, my house is messy because it makes it feel like home, so I'm not going to clean it for this video. I don't get why people always say, Oh, my house is so dirty, oh my... Well, okay, you live in it, so it's going to happen. So right here is my fridge. For some reason it came with a Simpsons sticker. I thought that was pretty cute. And uh, let me show you this here. All I got is some ice and some vodka, which I got on a really good deal. And then got some eggs, some awful horrible milk. Yeah, the milk here is terrible, by the way. It's not real milk. They don't have real milk. It's powdered milk. It's really gross, but uh, I need it. And uh, some, some tea, lemon water, beer, and a whole bunch of, let's see, I got ham, beef, chicken, rice, noodles, more beef, and a whole lot of vegetables because those are cheap here. Some more beer in there. So very Japanese, as uh, you all hoped. Here's the chair and table that my, my kind landlady gave me. And uh, here's my heater and cooler. Some storage up here. Some storage there. Um, a little desk thing which I'll be using when school starts. My laundry basket and nice uh, blanket for when it gets cold. My mirror that I took off my bathroom wall because I am too tall to use it so I had to rip it off the wall. Here's my bed which has a futon on it. You might think it's small, but I actually fit perfectly on it. It's a little over six feet wide long, so it's pretty much perfect. And it's on wheels, and it collapses, so that's pretty interesting. A little alarm clock there. Here's my closet. It's got a nice little mirror here that I can check myself out in. Two little drawers here. And, you know, enough room for all my stuff. Definitely comfortable. And I got a vacuum back there, thanks to my landlady. So I got this stove here, and yes, it looks like a camping stove, because that's what it is. Unless you live in a house, this is what you get. Fry pan, boiling water, coffee maker, which I had to buy. Some sauces and pans and all that good junk. My sink. Here's my washing machine. As you can see, it's uh, super small. No dryer. It only holds up to 42 liters of water. So it'll hold like, you know, one pair of my jeans. This is where I will, where I will dry my clothes. I still haven't done laundry yet. Some storage, some storage. Um, quite a bit of storage. I mean, when you guys see, think of Japanese apartments, this is probably much larger than you thought. Uh, this is my water heater. When I want to use... Oh crap, it's turned on. <laughs> Should have turned it off. But, uh, oh well. If I'm not using water, it doesn't actually heat water. It just is ready to be used. So when I want to use it, I press this button. And then I can control the heat on here. And then I can turn it on. And the water comes out warm pretty quickly. Then you could hear it turning on when that goes down, so turn it off for now, like good boy. And uh, here's my bathroom, turn on the light, and uh, it's got these little airport style door, and it really does feel like an airport bathroom, but you know it works, and uh, I don't have to hit my head to get in, so that's cool. So here's uh, you know, the toilet and all that, doesn't have a bidet, which would have been cool, but oh well. Something interesting about Japanese bathrooms, uh, they have this little latch here you could see, and I can lift it up take it out and it's got like another drain underneath it so let me do that real quick you can see that so like if you overflow or something i guess it takes care of that and uh yeah so here's my it's got like a pretty tall bathtub like i it's about two and a half feet tall so you have to be careful not hitting your legs when you get in there but uh yeah so as you can see i ripped the mirror off the wall because it was my head goes like up to here, so it's really useless. But uh, yeah, here's my shower, and it's pretty interesting. Sorry, my video got cut off, ran out of space. 
So if you want to use the shower, um, the water sources all come from the same place. So it goes from the toilet, connects here to the sink, and then, uh, oops, the sink, <laughs> there you go, and then um, goes to the shower. So you gotta turn this little knob here to change the water source. That's pretty interesting. Uh, that's how it is for most places, even the hotels that I've stayed in. So uh, yeah, that's my apartment. Um, See if we can go outside and take a look. It is nighttime, in fact. That's what it looks like outside. And you can see there's the uh, bike parking in the other apartments. <laughs> Creeping. So, yeah, this is my apartment. It's actually pretty, pretty large. It's actually bigger than most rooms I've stayed in, despite the fact the kitchen's with it. So, hope you enjoyed the video.